Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, today, I'm just going to say this is episode 14 of A Trip to Hover Road. Today's episode, uh, I watched Color Out of Space. Yes, watched it on Prime Video with Rick Nando Guy, aka Platendo Guy. Uh, so yeah, what is Color Out of Space about? Well, because it's an HP Lovecraft film, it's going to be a little similar to The Thing, but it's got nothing to do with The Thing. But it's all about this fa court, this family, like, you know, they've been living, like, in this this forest, like, all for their lives, like, for the kids and everything. Um, they own, like, alpacas until, like, this mysterious thing happens outside their house. A mysterious meteorite. Glowing, I think, pink or purple, some kind of weird color glow uh, lands in the, in the they're gone. Um, it glows for a long time. It literally, uh, like, you know, basically changes the whole family into absolute weirdos, I'm just going to say. And you see, like, the movie build on to the moment when they do go crazy and weird stuff goes on and I think it's got to do something with a parasite in my opinion but the thing is with a, with an HP Lovecraft story uh, the, those like kind of films or like books don't explain the actual narrative of the movie because you don't know where that creature of parasitic cell came from because it came out with me to write. You don't know what planet it's going to be from. You don't know what system it's going to be from. It's a whole mystery. It's a whole mystery. And I found out this was a 6 to 12 million budget for a straight to DVD movie. And when I watched it, I was impressed. I'm actually, I was actually impressed. Like, they got the uh, CGI spot on. Like, like, some of the creatures were like, not CGI, they were, they were mostly like, I would say practical effects, like, they knew that the prosthetics needed to be in for this movie, and like, if they didn't do that, it wouldn't look shit with CGI, there wasn't a CGI monster in there, just like, bring it in, and everything, all these kind of stuff, but it was mostly focused on this family being, like, going insane with this pink glow because it's the colour from outer space or colour outer space which is the movie that's called um, what did I like about this movie as I said like before about the uh, CGI was like much better they knew what they knew what like what right scenes that needed the CGI to bring in the colour like I can tell like how, how they're going to make this like pinkish dark pink colour into this colour from outer space. I could have used any colours, but pink or purple would have made more perfect sense. It's like it's from outer space. Of course you're gonna use that colour. It fits the movie well. Like I, the only reason I, why I wanted to watch the film is because the Nicolas Cage, because I love a bit of Cage rage, because he's always raging, in some of these films. Like, and this film brought me, like, joy. It's something, like, I like to figure out. It's one of those things, like, you can switch your head off, like, tr like wondering, like, what the fuck is going on. But the thing is, you do figure it out a little bit. But the film is trying to tell you, like, this, but, like, you know... I was going to say the film, which I was trying to say, is um, it is trying to give you the mystery of outer space. Like, why is this thing doing on Earth? Does it want to kill us? Does it want to take over us? You don't know because I can't tell you. You've got to figure it out yourself if you ever come to watch this film. Because with Nicolas Cage... You, he is going to go crazy. Like, hell yeah. 
You'll see Nicolas Cage doing his rage because he's got the cage rage. Um, yeah, he did a really good job in this movie. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was going to get into. And, and I think after I watched like Willy's Wonderland and everything, you know Nicolas Cage can do literally anything horror or action-esque kind of movies. But he's also good at drama. He knew what he's doing in drama as well. So, like, I thought his character was so brilliant playing as Nathan, which is the character he plays called Nathan Garner. But there was an annoying bitch in this movie, and that was his daughter. I think it was Liliana, whatever the character name is, Liliana Gardner. She never stopped whinging. And, like, all she was doing trying to do hexes and all that kind of stuff because she was actually a Wiccan. And he's just like, just doesn't care about some part of life, that kind of thing. She just wants to sell her soul to the devil. And so, and she did something dumb, which you will find out if you ever see this movie. And it's just, it's all because of the mead, right? Of course. It's a mysterious color of space that can literally just turn anything or anybody insane and this what the what the movie gives you is a different perspective of the sci-fi horror genre based on uh hp lovecraft's famous book the color of space but i think it's a newspaper article i think that they use like there was a chapter like every week but i don't know because i never read any hp spiel of craft's material because i'm not really into like reading books like you know it's not part of what i like but the rest of the characters was just there but like, i think it was just to fill in the gaps like um it's a good film i like it for what it is i enjoyed it i would watch it again and get a better perspective and to see nicholas cage again going raging but this film is probably got going to be probably a generally underrated film. I, I like it. I think if I watch it again, I might like it more and more and more. Because it's just a weird film. That's what it is. It's meant to be bizarre. So that's what you're going to get from this movie. But anyway, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to say 4.5 out of 5. Because I enjoyed it. So, yeah, that's my review for today's video. Just a short one, it's just about eight minutes long. But anyway, always look forward for episode 15 because I'm going to be revisiting From Dust Till Dawn with George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino, which is also directed by Robert Rodriguez, who brought us the Machete films Sin City with Frank Miller. And also, the Spy Kids movies, plus uh, Planetera, plus the Al Mijirachi films. But anyway, I'm Ryan of Let's Get Kicking Movies, which I am Let's Get Kicking Movies now. I'll see you next time for episode 16 of A Trip to Horror Road. And as always, bring on the destruction, baby. Bring it on!